James Lund is James the Wine Guy, Rutherford Napa Valley Cabernet coming up. Stay tuned for this review. So what we have before us is SR Tonella Cabernet Napa Valley 2012 Vintage and of course from Rutherford and uh, I'm really excited about it because I don't taste, believe it or not, a lot of Rutherford wine so back panel, not a lot of information but I like that as well. Uh, what I like about that is it's, uh, to me it says, let the wine speak for itself and uh, so I, I love the label, very uh, cool uh, pattern. A very nice, sophisticated label. I think for me, when I look at Cabernet Sauvignon Rutherford, as I mentioned, that I don't taste a lot of it, which is rather surprising because I go through waves like any other wines that I'm reviewing. On my wine table, I may have uh, all mountain uh, fruit from Napa Valley. Instead, um, you know, maybe it's the next uh, wave, I get uh, valley floor fruit. So I don't like to position that the valley floor is superior to the mountain regions in Napa Valley. Uh, I like to make them, uh, you know, not even a subject matter. Uh, sometimes I prefer in terms of maybe a certain uh, situational preference. Overall, I think it's really something to look at on an equal basis and not to put one in front of the other. So SR Tonella, they produce two different wines, they only two, and that's a good thing, Sauvignon Blanc and Cabernet Sauvignon. And what I mean by that specifically is that it's a, it's a great focus of what is done best in this particular part of Napa Valley. So it's Cabernet Sauvignon, the, the Bordeaux varieties, uh, Sauvignon Blanc, uh, does quite well. I've not tasted a Sauvignon Blanc, but that'll be next at some point. Uh, for me, I think this is a really handsome polished wine. Be sure to do yourself a favor. Serve this in a really nice large format glass. This is a Bordeaux glass. And uh, for me, I think this is a really great way to characterize the smell and uh, fully appreciate the wine. I've done many tests myself. I've put this in a smaller format glass and a burgundy glass and a much smaller white wine glass. And uh, for me, I think the proof is in the tasting. And so this wine is being sourced from two vineyard sites in Rutherford. That is from the Marsoli Borges Vineyard as well as a Niebaum Tonella Vineyard. This is a composition of 95% Cabernet Sauvignon, 5% Merlot. This is all French oak, 75% of that is new, and uh, 28 months of aging. And uh, so I think this is really hitting that point of uh, beauty of valley floor fruit. This wine is expressing considerable finesse absolute beauty without being too showy either and I think it's a really hard position to be in for Napa Valley Cabernet because many producers are really trying to position theirs uh, you know obviously for a good reason right everybody wants to bring the best uh, wine to the marketplace and I think in doing so you uh, you know sometimes will uh, sacrifice one thing for another uh, but I, I think instead it's the craftsmanship it is that signature the heritage so this is a long heritage producer and uh, been involved in the valley for quite some time uh, a lot of people don't know of this producer I'll put more information down below so you can click on and uh, source this wine if you're interested in buying this wine for me I think this is a really outstanding wine in terms of scent characterization flavor profile and the point score. So here we go first to the scent characterization, and then the sequence next would be the flavor profile. Notes of uh, brambleberry thicket, suede, dense forest, violets, red rose petals, and a hint of uh, spice rack. Next, the flavor characterization, then the point score. The tayberry, blackberry, bean cherry, thyme, bay leaf, hint of pepper, and cardamom. This is a 9.4 out of a 10.0 scale. Think of that as 94 points out of 100 points. A gorgeous wine, sculpted wine, ready to drink now, or you can actually uh, solid this for some time. I think for me, the beauty is, uh, you know, obviously uh, the fruit, and this is 95% Cabernet Sauvignon, 5% Merlot. That is really giving an identity unto itself. A lot of people sometimes mistake that, well, if you have other varieties in there, other Bordeaux varieties, or even other non-Bordeaux varieties, that it's not the wine that it should be, or it should be 100% Cabernet Sauvignon. I really think that's the artistry of wine, that is, the, the winemaker is really making that decision. What is best for that particular vintage? Maybe next year it's Petit Verdot. Maybe it is, uh, again, Merlot. Maybe it's a higher percentage of Merlot. Maybe it's Cabernet Franc. Maybe it's uh, Malbec. Who knows what it really is. But that's up to the winemaker. And I think, uh, you know, I do trust the craftsmanship of many winemakers to really make that right decision. To give this beautiful wine, that what it deserves, a 94 point score. So, more reviews to come, more wines from Napa, around the corner, as well as around the planet. So thank you so much for your support, I really appreciate it. Do me a favor, give a like to this video, share this video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't done this already, and uh, list your questions and comments down below. Now we can connect on a variety of social medias. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Pinterest, LinkedIn, as well as Instagram and WordPress. Thank you so much for watching me today. Stay tuned for more. Salut.